Hello again everybody, this is the Redstoners. Today it's going to be me, Alex. And I'm coming at you with uh, another video today. Um, I'm sorry I haven't done a video in a while, but... So, because uh, I'm on summer break right now, so... I haven't had time, so here here's a video, just in my free time. Uh, today, it's not going to be a... Well, it's, it's going to be a modding video, not a first days of Minecraft video. So today, I'm going to show you how to install single player commands. For Minecraft and yeah so uh, let me just congratulate our channel um, today or well, I think it was yesterday I saw that we have 1,000 upload views thank you guys for watching our videos um, keep it up uh, don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe thank you guys and uh, so yeah let's get started um, first of all I want to say that um, I'm using Mac this is a Mac only tutorial to install single player commands, so if you if you don't use Windows, I'm sorry. If you if you use Windows, I'm sorry. So this is for Mac only, and I'm running OSX Line, and it's a little different for OSX Line. So I'll I'll show uh, Snow Leopard and OSX Line at the same time. So uh, to get started, first of all, if you haven't already done it, go to your Minecraft, open it up. All right, here we have Minecraft. And if you haven't already updated 1.7.3, I want you to update that now. And uh, once you update that, just close out of Minecraft. You don't need it now. And I, I want you to go to Google. Google. And I want you to type in single. Oh, wait. Actually, first of all, you need Mod Loader. Mod Loader is a cool thing. It It's this, it's this thing that um, makes it possible to run all these like mo a lot of mods together so you have to have mod loader or to, you can have you don't have to have mod loader if you only get install single player commands but if you want other mods at the same time including single player commands then you want to get mod loader so I'm just gonna give this to you for now you can do the ad fly link which gives money to the modder or you can just do direct I'll do direct because to make the video shorter let's find it go in the finder into your downloads and you'll see it Double click to unzip it. Should unzip. And now you want to drag that mod loader file that we just downloaded and bring it to your desktop. Close out of that. And then next we're gonna to want to get is single player commands. I'm gonna type in single player commands. There we go. And I'll I'll provide a link to the description for everything if you guys don't want to search it. And it should be the first one at the very top, 1.7.3 single player commands. Up. The internet is a little slow today. Come on. Very slow internet. Oh, there we go. I right, so you should get this Minecraft forum page. At first, you see all this, all these different things. And one thing I want to point out is the commands list. This is all the things you can do in, my, in uh, single player commands. And um, I'll probably be doing a single player commands tutorial on how to use different functions for it so you can read these and try it yourself but I'll, I'll make a tutorial soon but just ignore that for now and go to the downloads and you're going to want to take the preferred download download v2.10 underscore 2 10.3 beta you can do the direct download oh, oh, direct download or the adfly download which gives you like I said money for the modder so let's do the direct download and make the video shorter again so it looks like it's going to be a minute, not even a minute, oh, not even, three seconds, two, one, okay. Right. Your finder, go to downloads, and then double click that zip file, unzip it, oh, there it is, and I want you to put that on your desktop, this just makes it easier, everything. Now you can quit out of, out of your browser, quick out of it, and... First of all, we're going to have to locate our Minecraft folder. So you want to go to your finder. And this is, I want to show you what you have to do for Snow Leopard users. Um, so you're going to go to your username, which mine's Rios. And you're going to find a folder called library. Once you find that, open that. And then let me show what you have to do for OSX line users. At the very top of your menu bar, you should see something that says go. Go down to where it says go to folder. Open that. And you're going to type in the squiggly line which is under the escape key shift squiggly line slash 
capital L library library and then go now once you're in your library for just snow leopard as well and for OS X line you want to open your application support which is the very top open that up and then you should be at the very top of your page you want to scroll down and you should see where your M's are and you should see a minecraft folder open that up and once you open it up you should have this um, just ignore all this for now you don't really need that yet but go to your bin and also yours may, may look a little different than mine mine I have some mods already installed so it's gonna be a little different so up, open your bin at the very top and you'll see right here all these these dot jar files you're gonna, you're gonna see a minecraft dot jar not the minecraft 1.5 underscore zero dot jar uh, zero, zero one dot jar the one under it minecraft dot jar you're gonna wanna um for I think if for uh, Snow Leopard, I don't know if this is yeah for Snow Leopard you're going to use Archive Utility, but for um, uh, OS X Line it's different, so you'll have to use you have to unzip it. I th well, you have to use Unarchiver, which you can download. I mean, it's different now for some reason. You can't use you used to be able to use uh, the Archive Utility, but if you do that. It just gives us another this weird little file. So you want to use a unzipping program to do that, which I use the unarchiver. You can download that. Put a link in the description, and you should get a Minecraft folder like that. And if you open that up, you see all these files. So just go back for now. That Minecraft.jar that we just made a folder. You're gonna rename that to whatever you want. I just make mine backup. It should be Minecraft backup that jar, and then that folder you just made, you want to put a jar at the end of it. Dot jar, and then it says, "Are you sure you don't add this?" Say add. So now this is the file that Minecraft's going to use to run the game, but it used to be this one. Now it's this one. That's why I had to rename it. So you're going to want to open this up, and I'm going to make this a little smaller for so you guys can see. Open that up, and you should see tons of little little files. Now, first of all, you're gonna wanna um, f for uh, you're gonna wanna delete these file. You wanna go down to this thing called meta inf. Find that. Go to the M's. There we go. Okay. Meta inf folder. Open that up, and you can delete all these files. Trust me, this won't do anything to you. So delete those. Put those in your trash. And you can keep the meta in folder. It's fine. Just leave it there, because I know some some um, mods need that folder, so keep it there. So now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna open up our mod loader folder that we installed. It's on a desktop. Mod loader folder with all these dot class files. You're gonna want to highlight those, select them all, then copy. Copy the 15 items. Should be 15, and then paste into here into your minecraft.jar it should say do you want to apply to all you say apply to all and replace this is it's not going to do anything it's just going to replace the already files there and mod it so we're good with mod loader now we're going to want to do single player commands this is a little different really easy as well so you're going to want to select all these so you want to click the top one this is really cool you can let me see this make it bigger you want to press shift at the very bottom one to select them all that's kind of cool and there's two files in here you don't want to copy into the minecraft.jar. That's the readme.txt, which is at the top. And just press command and select that. And then you want to take out worldedit.jar, which is at the very bottom right there. So you should have worldedit.jar out and readme.txt not selected. Copy. And this should be 21 items you're copying. Keep this window open. Go back to your minecraft.jar. Paste the items. It should say not apply to all, but just replace because it's one I, one files being replaced. So replace it. Should take a couple seconds. Replaced. Now you're going to go out of your Minecraft.jar, go back into where all your jars are where you made that Minecraft.jar file. I'm going to go back into single player commands, and you want to take that world edit.jar that we deselected. You want to copy that, the one at the very bottom, world edit.jar. Copy that. Go to your. If this is the bin folder in your Minecraft folder, you want to you want to paste it into there. 
So we have all that dot jar in this folder with all the jars. So yeah, you're, it should be should be uh, installed, the mod. So you want to click out of all your windows. You don't want to have the Minecraft folder open when you're using Minecraft. Click out of that. Open up Minecraft. And we'll see if we did it right. So log in. And once we get past that black screen and that Mojang symbol means we're through, it means it's success successfully installed the mod. So open up single player and this let me show you if it's working for sure. Should say at the very bottom single player commands 2.10 underscore one. That should mean that single player commands is open and working. That means it's installed and it's running. So um I think that's pretty much it. I'll be making a single player commands tutorial video on all the different uses uh, soon. But I'll I'll just put the uh, the single player commands website, or I mean the, the link in the description so you can see all the commands. So for now I'll just use the commands and play around with it. It's pretty fun to use. One of the base mods you should have. Make another mod video soon. I think f right now I'm just gonna be making mod videos. And maybe later I'll, I'll do another single, uh, your first days of Minecraft video. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.